of you. Now, uh, we in previous video we discuss about the depreciation methods, different depreciation methods. That is a straight line method, decline based line method, like. So again, this decline based method that again modified for the uh, unit for this straight line method and decline based method modified for the unit of production method or modified isolated cost recovery systems. So for decline based method we go through such examples. We go through these examples based on decline based method. So this in this decline based method that base value never reaches to the zero. To make that base value reaches to the zero this decline base method switched to the straight line method so that base value after n period of time we may get as a zero <coughs> so this decline method switch over to the straight line method switch over to the straight line method so and sometimes straight line method formula is again modified like this as a unit of production method as a unit of production method in which that instead of number of years m that number of years now shifted as a number of units of production number of units of the production so this formula is slightly modified this formula is slightly modified so in this example we go through this uh, formula we go through this formula so here here one example is given here this one example so a machine has cost basis, machine has a cost basis of rupees uh, take 1 lakh and 9 year depreciable life. The estimated salvage value of that machine is uh, rupees 10,000 at the end of the 9th year. And use of decline based method which with a switch over to the SLV. We asked to find out the uh, how much is the salvage value of that machine. Uh, we asked to find out the or here the decline based method is switch over to the straight line method. Switch over to straight line. It means what it means that we go through this example and we find the particular uh, single straight line method by using the straight line method. Depreciable amount by using straight line method. So here at the uh, end of year, here end of year, it is given as 1, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine. So ninth year is the useful life period for that particular machine. So yes, years are considered up to the ninth year. So at beginning of year, at this beginning of year, what is the cost basis of that value? A particular machine which is a one lakh which is a one lakh which is written here which is written here beginning of the year what is the base value what is the base value which is a one lakh which is a one lakh one lakh uh, it is a base value one lakh minus the depreciation amount minus depreciation amount at first year is a zero so it is a one lakh it is as it is a one lakh at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of the year. So at the end of the second year, at the end of the second year, how much will be that value? How much it will be that value? Uh, that book of booking value, how book value, how much is that book value? Is now this value minus this value minus depreciation value. This value minus depreciation value. So that depreciation value can be calculated here. This value minus this depreciation value, that uh, amount will come like this, which is nothing but a book value at the beginning of that particular year, which is book value at the beginning of that second year, beginning of that second year. So this is a cost value. This value comes as a by difference between that cost value minus depreciation amount for the years for the years for second year that depreciation amount considered for the one year depreciation amount considered for the year which is calculated here 
so 1 lakh minus this depreciation amount calculated for one year which is nothing but the booking value for at the beginning of the second year so booking value we calculate as a cost value minus depreciation amount for that particular year for that particular years for second year for the second year beginning of second year how much the depreciation amount that depreciation amount related to the first year so depreciation amount related to the first year we calculate it here so difference between this is the booking value similarly for third year similarly for third year for third year now booking value is this for third year third year the booking value is this so again third year we can calculate it as a basic cost value minus basic cost value minus depreciation value for years for years for previous years depreciation value for the previous year so 1 lakh minus 1 lakh minus depreciation value for the previous years now 22,222 plus 17,283 so the summation of both terms minus this uh, this 1 lakh minus summation of this both term will give this value or we can directly come to this value by subtracting this value minus this value 77,000 this value minus 70,000 value that will give this value book value at the year of third at the year of third similarly at the year of fourth this book value at the third year minus this depreciation value 13,000 which will come like this will come like this similarly this for fifth year beginning of the fifth year fourth year value minus this value which comes like this at the sixth year this value minus this value it comes here so it's like that for seventh year beginning of the seventh year sixth book value minus this depreciation amount for this sixth year at the end of the sixth year difference between this so book value at this depreciation amount at the end of the seventh year this much this will be the book value for the eighth year Similarly, so, nine year book value for the eighth year minus depreciation amount for the eighth year. This will be value this. Like that, like that it is calculated. Like that it is calculated. Now, this value, this depreciation value calculated by decline base method. This value calculated by decline base method by considering two hundred percent decline, two hundred percent by calculating two hundred percent rate, two hundred percent rate. So this will be put into the formula, previous formula and by using the previous formula of the decline based method, by using the previous formula of the decline based method we can calculate in this, we can calculate in this <coughs> like that, we can calculate it like this is cost basis cost basis value into into 2 by 10 into 2 by 10 so here instead of 10 here that useful life period is 9 2 by 9 into now this this forty lakh now here in our case our example is now one lakh one lakh into two by nine is equal to whatever that value whatever that value comes here like this whatever that value comes here like this now again for second year again for second year it is a again we use that formula for second year for second year again we use that formula so. For second year again we uh, use a particular formula particular formula and we will get that particular differentiation value particular differentiation value so this formula this formula we use here this formula we use here and we get that particular depreciation value we get that particular depreciation value so here that b into r b into r now for kth kth year this formula now changes again for k the depreciation value now changes is a cost basis value into 1 minus 1 minus r now r is a 2 divided by 9 r is a 2 divided by 9 now for second year it is a k is a second k is 2 k is 2 for third year this k is a 3 for fourth year this k is a 4 by considering this formula we can calculate in this values we can calculate in this 22,122 like this 17,000 13,000 10,000 by considering that so this straight line method in the straight line method 
what will the depreciation amount here in this first slot or in this first year that is nothing but a cost basis value minus LV value divided by their number of years divided by that number of years so first slot first slot of depreciation for first year is here that comes as a 10,000 as cost basis value is a 1 lakh 1 lakh minus LV value is 10,000 so difference between this 1 lakh and 10,000 is a 90,000 divided by 9th year 9 year so that that value is a 10,000 so in conventional straight line method that depreciation amount is the same for each year depreciation amount is same for each year for first year second year third year fourth up to ninth year that amount is same but in this as this decline based method is a we used here or we are that is used in combination with the straight line method so here first we find out this depreciation find out the depreciation values for this decline balance decline balance method for this we first find out this depreciation amounts for each year for each year by using the uh, decline based method formula by using the decline balance method formula so <clears throat> by using that formula we first find out this depreciation value for nine years now that book value book value first year is a one lakh one lakh minus this twenty thousand two hundred twenty two this value will appear so again for uh, next value next value is now comes as a so this value minus this value again it appears like 60,000 so again this value minus this value with this value we will get so book value changes book value changes in each year book value changes in each year so the book value is nothing but a cost basis value minus that uh, cost uh, book value is nothing but a cost basis value ma uh, minus depreciation value cost basis value minus depreciation value so this value minus this value is nothing but book value for that particular year so that value we calculated here book value for each year we calculated depreciation amount we calculated for ninth year so this is by purely decline balance method formula now as soon as we introduce one straight line method in this decline balance method formula so this will be modified this will be modified slightly this will be modified slightly and we will obtain this like this we will obtain uh, that particular value like this <coughs> so here salvage value salvage value from each from each uh, book value we deduct that particular salvage value particular salvage value so for first for first case for first case for first year this 1 lakh minus salvage value is now 10,000 salvage value is 10,000 1 lakh minus 10,000 divided by year divided by 9 when is a 9, nine years so this value becomes as a 10,000 so 1 lakh minus 10,000 divided by 9 is a 10,000 but for the second year for the second year that we not calculated by traditional method so by traditional method this is a constant for each year 10,000 is constant for each year but as this decline balance method is a combination or some modification in the straight line method so we consider this book value we consider these book values for respective years for respective years and then we find out the this uh, value particular depreciation value for each year in the straight line method now <clears throat> so in conventional straight line method book value for previous year minus that salvage value divided by uh, particular year uh, period of time so here the period of time 9 so that much amount is constant for each year but here now it changes here it changes by consideration of this book value for each year consideration of book value for each year now book value in each year is now changing here <coughs> now changing here so first year this this minus salvage value divided by 9 so 10,000 now for second year this is book value so this value minus salvage value 10,000 divided by 9 so we will get this value so for third year book value for third year is this much 60,000 60,493 
minus 10,000 divided by 9. So we will get this value. So in conventional method, that depreciation amount for each year is same for that straight line method. But in this, as we modified uh, by this decline balance method, so this may uh, change, a small change is there. Instead of considering book value at the first year, we consider we consider book value for that respective years for that respective years and then we find out the depreciation so that depreciation now here goes on reducing that depreciation now goes on reducing so in conventional straight line method <coughs> depreciation is constant but if you consider here if you consider here that straight line method is modified by using this decline balance method uh, approach decline balance method approach so this 10,000 now decreasing 8,000, 8, 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 4,000, 3,000 like that. So this we obtain in the modified uh, case, modified case, modified case. So if you look at this, if you look at the depreciation amount <coughs> for each year, depreciation amount for each year. So by decline balance method depreciation amount for first year is 22,222. For first year by using straight line method, by using this modified straight line method, it is a 10,000. Now if you look at here, for second year, 17,000, second year by straight line method, 8,000. Like that, if you compare this, if you compare both the depreciation values by using decline balance method or by using straight line method, you will find here, you will find here this for this last year, if you find or compare with to this last year so every year this depreciation amount is larger than the straight line method depreciation amount calculated by decline balance method is larger than the straight line method so 22,000 is larger than this so 70,000 is larger of this so but if you go further further and for ninth year we will observe that for straight line method, straight line method, this depreciation amount for ninth year is larger than the decline balance method. Than decline balance method. So we compare both the depreciation values. We compare both the depreciation uh, values and we consider whatever that larger value for our consideration. Whatever that larger value for our consideration or depreciation amount for that particular year. Depreciation amount for that particular year. So from this two method, from this two method, this one is the larger. So we consider depreciation amount for first year, this much. From this two method, for second year, depreciation amount is larger, this. So again we consider this value for the second year. For third year again, comparison, this decline balance method, this depreciation is a more. So we consider this. For, but for ninth year, ninth year, this depreciation is larger. So we consider this depreciation for the ninth year. So this is a the decline balance method switch over to the straight line method. Decline balance method switch over to straight line method. So there is a small modification in the straight line method formula. And by using that uh, modification, by using that modification, we can choose a larger depreciation value for that particular year. Larger depreciation value for that particular year. So we consider modified or updated book value for each year. We consider updated book value for each year instead of considering only a first year book value for calculation of these depreciations by using decline balance method and by using straight line balance method. So only change in this example is that we use that decline balance method approach for the straight line method also and we consider here updated book values we consider here updated book value for each year updated book value for each year so updated book value for each year we consider and accordingly we calculate the depreciation and by comparison of both the methods depreciation value by both the methods whatever that larger value we consider for the depreciation amount for that particular year so this is the example which is a some modification in the straight line method formula or method by considering decline balance method approach by considering decline balance method approach so such 
such methods we can use so uh, both method we go through straight line method and decline line method some modified approaches are there some modified approaches are there and that we go through now first approach is the decline line method switch to straight line method second approach now we go through the second approach unit of production method